Hello, and welcome to Dark Souls 2, which is going to be my first time playing through it. I played like the very, very start once, but I'm going to get into it. But I will say, it's interesting that the trademark is on the Dark Souls name, which makes sense as opposed to the 2. But because if the Dark Souls is trademarked, then other people can't do Dark Souls 2 because it an interesting facet, but I don't know how to start this, so I'm just going to start. Uh, these games have really, this game has really bad, like, settings. Perhaps you've seen it. I think you Maybe can only change it dream, once you're in-game. A murky, forgotten land. So I'm just going to let it go. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Like a moth drawn to a flame, your wings will burn in anguish, time after time. For that is your fate, the fate of the cursed.
interesting. Oh, because there's somebody else there. Okay, makes sense. I was going to say interesting visual. But, this is the start of the game. I don't know enough about this game beyond it's often seen as kind of bad. So I'm going in with, like, well, bad in a relative sense. But I'm going in with low expectations, meaning that there's a good chance that my expectations will be... What the? My expectations will be appropriately... Like, uh, it will be better than I'm hoping, is what I'm hoping, which is... But I, I'm not expecting it to be better than I'm hoping. I didn't know there were weird creatures here. Because I've never... Like... Okay, I'm not even going to try to hit them. They just keep running away. I wonder if the people inside complain if you kill them. But yeah, this game... So, this is Dark Souls 2. Which, to my understanding, is a fairly different game. There's a lot of different mechanics and stuff compared to Dark Souls 1. I don't know if I want to fight the hippo. I don't think I want to fight the hippo. Because I don't think fighting a hippo with no weapon is a good choice. Especially with half health. And I think you lose health every time you die. Up until you're at 50% health, then you have to use an effigy to fully reset it. It's an interesting mechanic. Very lame. And definitely frustrating, but... There's mechanics in the game that make it so that if you want to trivialize human effigies, you can. Oh, cool. So you could fight them and then presumably drop down here. So I guess it's into here. And this is where you make your face and stuff. This audio feels oh weird. My, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon them. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> What is your name? I'm for a random name. Um. Okay. 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 Awkward. eventually. Uh, Deprive not having a weapon is kind of more difficult compared to previous other games, but I'd have to find a weapon before I do anything. Um... Hmm. 
let's just go with this. Uh, then... Okay, weird. Uh, sleeve it, build... There's some sort of randomizing thing somewhere. It might only be for face, though. There. Makes it easy when you're not that interested in... And it's a kind of a boring face, though. When you're not that interested in making a well it really does do that huh there's a tendency to like squeeze specific traits they keep squeeze right in the middle they don't it generally just squishes instead of yeah, just sunken cheeks. I kind of like the eyes, actually. Okay, that's good. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. You never know. <laughs> Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. Okay. That will be fine. This is a rainbow. I'm just gonna skim this. this. Yeah. So, this run... The Dark Souls 1 run that I just finished. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do strength. I'm gonna do strength in this one. Mostly because it has the power stamp mechanic. Which is different than... I think it's, it's different than when it returns in Elden Ring. Because you need like 1.5 times the stat requirements for both weapons as opposed to just the stat requirements. So it's different that way. And it could be fun to power stance. You know, a Fume Knight, Ultra Great Sword, and something else. Probably not doable, but. Because I probably won't get enough souls for that to be realistic without, you know, farming, and I'm not going to farm for that. What is... I don't know what that square is. Soul of Lost and Dead. Uh, is it because I'm not... I am human, so is it that I'm human? Maybe I should read this. Okay, just tutorials. So I think this is a place you can light all this stuff. I don't know if it's some tutorialized version though. I don't... It's a very different game. Um, 
Yeah, like, I don't know how you equip torches, if you even have them. I assume they're an item. Like, if you... I think it's light these to open these. Just based on, you know, locations. There's a guy over there. I think there's a dagger you can get somewhere here. And then you can clear those with fragrant branches of yore. I guess I'll just keep running. That might be the tutorial stuff. I'm not actually sure. Ah, lovely. I must be misunderstanding something. Oh no, people must fight something here and run back into there? Maybe? No. No idea why so many people die. No. I'll explore this later. I know this is where you find, like, the... Green Herald. And it's the hub. I should probably talk to the people around the hub, huh? Like the person up there. Majula things betwixt. Yeah, this game has instant fast travel. Could you imagine just not talking to this person? Because like, eh, I'll just keep exploring. What a cape. What a magical cape. to check this because the yeah like these default to like this is like the default so the mix between music and voice is a mess i'm gonna leave voice explicitly higher that might be a little too low for the other ones but the difference between music and voice is really not Appropriate if you want to actually hear the voices. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you. Me, or anybody. Do you know much of... Even I'm not... I'm told that there's anything living... It's what we call the curse. Do you see what? To be alive. It's a real curse. And, uh, and that's... Okay. I know there's like a covenant. I know there's a covenant over there. I'm not going to interact with that right now. It makes the game... All enemies become New Game Plus difficulty. And... But without New Who Game Plus souls or something? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just, Just help, help me open this door. door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. Nothing Bring without my tools. Key. We have to find a way to get a key here. Okay. 
Oh yeah, one definite positive of this game over Dark Souls 1 is a dedicated, dedicated jump button. Where instead of having to, whereas if, you, if you're running, you can roll right away instead of jumping. It's gonna be great. Instead of having to deal with not being able to jump, I doubt that's where I'm supposed to go considering I can't even walk here. really quite limiting but I know a few things about this I know about that stone that you can drop into the well to get something I don't know what you get but you get something oh it's gonna be it's gonna be good to you know play this game and decide for myself whether it's actually awful or not I don't think it's gonna be awful I actually hope that it will be interesting. Oh, undead, are we? And one without much time remaining. It's gonna be a lot of frustrating stuff, though. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, Such oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So. What did you want, anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> okay. Covenant? What? Cat ring? Silver cat ring, I'll want to buy that eventually. Probably not the evil eye, but I mean, if I have the money, I'll buy it. Useless. No idea what Ring of Whispers does. But these two seem situational. Need a lot of souls, but... Well, I'm a poor undead. I actually should have checked if they had more items. I only looked at the rings. They also have... Homer Bones and Lloyd's Talismans. There are definitely some... Positives compared to Dark Souls 1, at least the remaster version. The the shopping is a little bit clearer. I don't think I can kill these guys. I can't even hit them with this swing. You know, I think I lose these pigs. Yeah, I'd have to... I can't two-hand my fists, or power stance with the fists. And I'd have to do four damage. Why would I beat up the pigs? Not worth the time. Oh, it's so silly to not have a weapon at all, though. It's very, it's a very different experience. Okay, yeah, they're gonna, there's definitely someone in there that kills you. Or people do stuff and attack them and then die. Uh, oh, um, hello there. Welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and uh, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I. Please do have a look at my. What I could really okay. use the business. I'm well, sorry, I'm busy. I'm being chased by pigs. It's kind of annoying. The pigs just chase you forever. Seemingly. Guess I need to go explore somewhere else then. Um, so there's a little place back that way that I could go. I don't, I might, uh, I don't know which the best way to go, so I'll go this way first. There's probably optimal paths, but I don't know. I will probably have to follow guides occasionally, because I know there's stuff that's really obtuse like there's a dark stalker boss that has a super elaborate way to fight it and there's a lot of similar i mean all the dlc stuff is like oh how do you even get to the dlc it's always kind of a challenge 
Okay, it's definitely something that kills people here. Oh. Do they pick a fight with... This guy? And then die because they want his sword? Have you business with me? The way you're under is all blocked up, you see. By this... God off his statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. He's in quite the pickle. I think, yes, I know what this area is for sure. This is the area. I'm just gonna... These open up. You have to use like a fragrant branch of yore to unpetrify them. And then you get jumped by all the guys in here. Either before or after you open the... You unpetrify the guy. Which basically means... Bye. I can't do anything here. I didn't... Like, I've seen that location because it's a classic place to just die. But... I need to figure out what this... Square is. Walking... Red... Square. Um... I guess it's down this way. That seems like the only option. Ah, so that is toggled walk, apparently. So from this to, doesn't make much of a difference. Oh, I don't know anything about this specific, but I do know there's something about, uh, 10,000 souls for some that you give someone there. But I don't know what I'm doing in this game. I think the best way I can play this is run past everything until I get a weapon. I thought you could get a dagger in the intro part. I must have skipped stuff that I wasn't paying enough attention to when the game started. Like right at the start where all the torches and stuff where I must have ignored a, a bunch. Okay, I mean, there's no way this is the correct way because I can't open this. Interesting. Well, I'd say it's probably a case of Dark Souls 1 has a... I know more about that than I know about this game, so I'm like, okay, I know... Don't go to the graveyard right away because that place is dangerous. But this game definitely has a lot more just hard blocked areas right out the gate. Dark Souls 1 had, oh, you can go to like a few different places, but you might die. This has, oh, you can't go here. You can't go here. Though you must be able to go there. Because I can't think of where else I, I'd have to go. I'll go back a bit in case I miss something soon, but... It might be here that I'm supposed to go. It's a very, uh... Different setup. I also don't... I don't know if this game has mimics or not. Because, yeah, so that's a classic, oh, is it or isn't it an invisible wall, illusory wall? Presumably this is a joke. Oh, it's an illusory wall. Wow, but it isn't because why would it be? One thing I definitely know about this game you're not immune when you're pulling levers and stuff, so it's a lot more, uh, you have to kill everything if you want to safely pull the levers and such. Can you close this? Why does this exist? Can you... Ah. That's what exists. That's why it exists. You get stuck. Or is this where you get a dagger? And that's like a fall to your death, for sure. Oh, this is a, uh... 
a loopable area where you can sort of you can reset the area using a bonfire aesthetic at the um, main area and then you can get human effigies from it and you can just run that repeatedly if you just want human effigies if you have nothing to work with I can't fight a hippo there's no way I can fight a hippo I don't think I can even fight a normal undead or hollow I'll give it a try okay that's actually decent damage and I can actually hit him can I backstab? Oh no, I can't roll diagonally when locked on in this game. What a shame. These guys track so much better than in Dark Souls 1. I got stuck on a rock because of my bad, but like... They actually track you. That's good to know. You can't loop around them to backstab. I didn't equip... I have to equip the Estus. That's a very different system. Well, the Estus drink is a lot slower. It heals a little bit slower as well. It is nice that I'm staggering them, though, with my fist attack. I thought I disabled the auto lock-on. Maybe I didn't. I was pretty sure I did, though. It's an interesting difference already in this game. Like, I do okay damage. They don't do that much in a relative sense. Like, one hit. Give me a weapon. Life gem. That's actually useful. I should equip those, but it's gonna explode. Or do a bunch of people die to hippos here? It's also very slow. The amount of time that took to load is kind of interesting. Okay, bye. I don't have a weapon. I'm not gonna fight every single guy until I actually have at least like a sword. Oh, you can actually run up ladders in this game. Yeah, I guess I fight them when they get up here. See if I can knock them down. They probably don't take much fall damage, but... I'm not going down there. That lock-on time... Like, the amount of time it takes for that lock-on to actually... Lock on is kind of crazy. I thought I disabled auto lock on. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that didn't hit him somehow. Oh, let's just see if any of these have weapons, I guess. I'm probably... Okay, that's better than fists, I assume. Now, that is an assumption. It could be that fists are actually better. Nope. Except fists seem to stagger better, maybe? I. No, the stagger's just fine. There's just a lot of people with more reach than I have. And they attack faster than I do. Am 
I should definitely use a life gem. Life gems are quicker, I think, right? Than Estus. I mean, to use, not to heal. They're way slower to heal. Yeah, guy on the left didn't get staggered there. I guess it makes sense that a broken sword has less reach than an actual sword. Oh yeah, you can't. Um, where'd that guy come from? Where'd the explosion come from? It's an interesting, like, question, the degree to which weapons and such get you get staggered very easily okay this is mostly it i think i mean i don't think it was worth fighting these guys it's probably better to just run away but okay i'm not dead oh yeah i can't i can't pick stuff up quickly in this game oh and you can't okay you can't start swinging and change your aim mid-swing, at least at an acceptable rate. And weapon durability really matters in this game. Like, look at... Is that, like, a quarter to a third left? Just fighting a bunch of hollows? It is a broken sword. But it, it does matter a lot more in this game. Oh, it was a guy up here throwing stuff at me. I'm not going in there. I'll die. All I have is two broken swords. Can I power stamp broken straight swords? Is, is it... You press and hold this to power stamp and then... You L1? Maybe that's good. I don't know. It's a new mechanic in this game, though, so I better try to use it. Oh. He kicks for a lot of HP. I mean, that's a lot better than a normal straight sword. Broken straight sword. I'm actually kind of happy with that. That's interesting. That's the guy that was throwing stuff at me. Can I go up on the right? Can I plunging attack? Nope. He's gonna throw stuff at me though. Rude. He's dead? No he isn't. Wow, that's not a lot of fall damage, huh? I guess because I kind of have to fall down myself as well. Oh, it's a real weapon. Can. Unable to use it. What is the requirement? 7 and 10. Whoops. So it's press and hold Y to power stance. Oh, can I drop down there? With less fall damage? Yes. Wow, rude. I guess I'm going to go back to the bonfire. Oh, you know what? I could just tell more bone. I like this inventory a lot better than Dark Souls 1 because it's easier to navigate. You can see a lot more stuff. I'll go back. I'll run past these guys to enter the fog wall, which might be the giant. I know that the Lost Giant, or I don't know if it's called the Lost Giant, but actually, I should also level up. 
What the? Oh, okay. I pressed A. It selected Majula, but then there's a set of bonfires at the bottom that I then have to select from there. Bearer of the formidable will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail. Seek those whose names are unutterable. Their souls will once you have found so that hope. Is that a shark here to see light? However, upgrade is that another charge or a stronger fip? So I'm going to level both of those. I think I needed at least seven decks for the short sword. Oh, that's interesting. You get HP from all stat. So, ADP is relevant because it influences how quickly you drink the Estus and similar stuff. So, I'll level stat for weapons, then prioritize ADP after. And I think that's how it... Okay, so it is more charges. I think that seems to me like the way to go. Because I don't know. I'll need it I'll need HP eventually, but for now I would prioritize offense over defense because it's more interesting. Okay, does that mean does this let me use the short sword? I probably can't power stance with it, but Oh, I had them backwards. Whoops. Too late now. I should have remembered the order that it was more dex than strength. But I can't level up, right? Because I don't have enough. Yep. I guess I need to get dex to 10 then. That'll be eventual. Now it's time to go here. I'm fine power stancing the broken, sto broken swords for now. I'm gonna run past all these guys because I need to preserve this in case that fog wall is a boss fight. Because if the fog wall is a boss fight... Oh, there's an item there. I'll come back for that. If the fog wall is a boss fight, then I need to save durability on these terrible swords. I'm thinking if it's a boss fight, it might be the giant? The last giant guy? Oh, no, it's not even a boss. That makes it easier. This durability. Oh, that's a new weapon. I think even hitting walls does weapon durability damage? Because they know there's... Oops. There's a spear that you want broken to use. Oh, these are all straight swords. Okay, they're not compatible with two hand with power stamping both of them though. You can only you, you can't power stance both, which is good to know. They need to be a, the same type or something. Yeah, I'm dead. First death, not a great death, but... A death that I don't feel that bad about. It's also time to wrap up, though. Uh, I'll go get... I'll recover my souls, and then... That's where I'll wrap up. So I'll, I'll pick that item up as well. Also, now that I actually have another weapon I can use, and I know that I'm not about to fight a boss. It's also way better. If I get a second one of these, actually, that'd be nice. Though I wouldn't be able to power stance it because stat, I think? Because if the stat requirements are multiplied by 1.5, I would need 
like 9 and 11 to power stamp this weapon. Uh, okay. 11 and 9, not 9 and 11. It's also half broken already. What a mechanic to really incentivize. Oh, I didn't heal at all when I did my last run, huh? Kind of an interesting choice. So far though, I'm kind of enjoying the setup. How the world is, like the gameplay mechanics are slightly different. The power stancing's nice. I should just go this way first, huh? Just button mash. One more. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay, I did kill him though. That's good. Life gem. That's always nice. This weapon breaks super quick. Like, even compared to the broken weapons I was using, it breaks real quick. Power stance? Uh, yeah, if they're up, I think it's power stance. Just back out. The camera is kind of awkward in here. Which is not ideal, but... Gonna brute force this because I'm just grabbing the souls and then time to wrap up. That guy's a lot of energy, huh? Oh, I hit the wall. Eh, one life jumps at the end of the world. To continue exploring a little bit, hoping that I can find a new bonfire soon. A trap. It's not a trap, it's an arrow. Okay, I didn't have as much forward movement as I was expecting, honestly. It is a trap. Okay. I just need to locate a new bonfire. I kind of want the guy to fall. How, what did I get hit by there? Did he actually finish his throw? Because... Oh, I got shot by this guy over there. That makes sense. I need to check something. If I... Plunging attack. There's no plunging attack, huh? Or maybe... Plunging attack? There is a plunging attack that way, at least. So it's about time to wrap up, though. So I need to find a bonfire soon. There might be a bonfire through that door, but I probably can't access it from this side. Oh. There's a door that I can actually open. It's weird. No idea why I can open the door. Or, more accurate, no idea why there's a door if I can just open it. I guess to prevent you from running through if you're being chased? That was a productive first bit. Not bad. I'll talk to them and continue the exploration next time. I'll have to go... I don't know if there's much back from where I am now, I can't remember. But next time I will continue the exploration. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.